Hey, good morning. It's been it's been a couple of weeks since I did an update, and I thought, why not? I'm trying to uh, be more consistent with my YouTube updates, and uh, it's been a challenge because it seems like every time I start to get a little momentum, something in real life starts to get in the way. And that's just what it's been for the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm currently in production for Infernal Liaisons, which is part of the Dead Sun Confidential series by Neil Martin, by N.P. Martin. Um, I narrated his Ethan Drake series. He was one of my one of one of my first clients. I think I started working with him in my first year doing voiceover. So now he has a new series. Uh, that picks up where the Ethan Drake series left off, and I am uh, in the middle of the first book for that. So that's been kind of fun. And I'm going to be receiving the manuscript for Warlord Arcanist by Shami Stovall in the next week or so, and starting production on that very, very soon. I'm really looking forward to getting back into the Frith Chronicles. Um... What else? Oh, I got my black belt in jiu-jitsu last week, a week ago this past Wednesday. So that was a really, really fun and uh, exciting surprise. I had suspected it could happen. I knew I was eligible. Uh, Hegan Machado was going to be in town for our seminar, so I knew that that could be a possibility. And it happened, and it was pretty awesome. I mean, nothing's really changed other than where I stand when we bow in class and I have a new belt and I'm really proud of it. Um, but yeah, very cool times. Um, I've posted a few photos on my Instagram about some of the terrain that I'm building for D&D. I'm hoping to do some more with that. One of the issues I had as far as doing more of these updates was that uh, my laptop that I was using to record uh, is some people would say that it sucks. It just doesn't do great at all for recording video. Um, I don't know. I got to figure out how to make that work because I'd really like to record more video down in the basement, down in my workshop. So I might have to get a Wi-Fi camera. I got to figure out a solution to that. But that's all. That's something I'll figure out later. It's not really that important. Um, I think that's all of the big stuff. I can't really think of much of anything else that's happening right now. Um, oh, video game. So my nephew and I, I've mentioned this before, my nephew and I are in the process of developing a beat-em-up video game. It started off as a really weird conversation I was having with my nine-year-old nephew earlier in the year, uh, turned out that he's got some really, really good ideas for video games and not just, oh, it's like a kid. Thing. No, he's actually got some like solid ideas for gameplay and mechanics and things like that. So we're starting to implement that. We had ourselves a little Zoom call on Sunday and we uh, talked about some of the details and we decided to really start getting to it. We've decided on the format of the game. It's a beat em up game that'll look similar to uh, Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds. Um, so we're going to go with that direction. The challenge I'm having right now is that for some reason in Unity, as I'm trying just to make the freaking buildings, I can't get it to not stretch everything out way out of proportion when it goes into game mode. And I can't figure out for the life of me why it's doing it and how to fix it and it's super super frustrating so I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to fix that now so that way we can actually move forward because let's face it that's a really basic thing I know we're not gonna have to get into the weeds with the details just yet but I would like the buildings to look okay so we're working on that right now um, hopefully I'll have some updates to post on that soon as well uh, but yeah, that's so much. That's been the last couple weeks in the life of a voice actor. Uh, yeah, working extra shifts at the side gig. We're having trouble finding cooks over there. Uh, we've either got people, we're not getting a lot of applications right now, hoping that'll change. And the folks that have applied and decided to schedule an interview all no showed their interviews. So, life tip, kids 
Showing up is like 90% of success. So don't do that. If you don't want the job and you've already scheduled an interview, call or text or email the person that you're supposed to be interviewing with and tell them that you're not going to be interviewing. Believe me, it'll go way better for you in the long run because you're going to build a good habit. Don't no-show shit. It's stupid. Anyway, that's the end of that rant. Um, Oh, uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to start releasing episodes of uh, Hidden Roles, the Dungeon Master podcast. I'm really looking forward to that. I've got four, five, four or five episodes in the can right now. I want to get a couple more just to have a buffer. They've all been really fun conversations. I've gotten a chance to meet some really awesome people. So I'm looking forward to being able to share that with the world. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions uh, about voice acting, about D&D, jujitsu, or any of that stuff. And if I don't know the answer, I'll make it up. All right. Have a great week.